In our morning rounds, we're going to take a look at the controversy that's keeping genetically modified salmon out of some stores. Despite FDA approval last week, major chains, including Target, Trader Joe's, and Costco, are refusing to carry what some critics are calling Frankenfish. Our Dr. David Agus is with us to join us at the table to sort it all out. Good to see you, David Agus. Good morning, so, Gail. What concerns you most, other than the name Frankenfish? That well, alone is kind of scary. It is kind of scary. But first, I mean, what is genetically modified fish? They take a gene from a different salmon and then take a, g a gene that turns on other genes from the eel and they put it in the salmon. Because salmon's normally grow in one season and that makes it grow all the time. Mm -hmm. So it can go to market and be ready to eat in 16 or 18 months rather than 30 months. And so the problem is, we don't know that much about them. Why? So, I'm sorry? Why the backlash? Well, I think everybody says is that the FDA is stating out there, listen, this is safe to eat, but you do not have a right to know if it's genetically modified or not. And so everybody, myself included, say, listen, I want to know what I eat. I have a right to know what's going on here. Why are they taking the position you don't have a right to know what you're eating? Great question. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I think it is our right to know. And there is data that it may be safe. And mm -hmm. I think more data is needed. Certainly, they have not done long-term data in humans at all. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we need to know what's in our food, what our food is made of. And we have a right to make the decision for ourselves. The company should have the obligation of proving to us why it's safe, not the FDA saying no label. Are you generally scared of gen genetically modified food? I think it's inevitable, unfortunately. I think with climate change, you can't move the wheat fields in Nebraska to New York City. I think that fishing in the ocean is unsustainable. So we need to use science to our benefit. And at the same time, we have a right to eat what we want and to try to know the outcome of when we eat these things, how it affects us. What's the us. worst case scenario? The worst case scenario is that these fish get out and start to affect other fish and really change the whole ecosystem. And so these fish are larger, grow quicker. They may outcompete other fish and really change the dynamics in our lakes and our oceans. We've been eating genetically modified corn and soybeans and other things for decades yeah. now, right? Your issue is just, we don't know yet about the safety, but your issue is transparency. Just label it. No question, we have a right to know. And, and at the same time, you know, 80% of the corn products out there, soy, are genetically modified. Yeah. And we need to really do studies to understand. They were made so that farmers can do better, so it can tolerate drought, so it can not mm -hmm. have pesticides. And at the same time, how does it affect health? How did it affect our long-term well-being? We need to know that. And the only way you know that is through real transparency. Well, before you go, when we look at you, we, you look very uh, sophisticated. Yeah. But can we just take a look at your socks? It just shows, hey, I'm a fun, crazy guy. <laughs> <laughs> I just want people to know David Agus has a whole nother side. I'm trying to be wild, there Gail. You go. I'm trying one step at a time. Yeah. <laughs> or you know it, there's going to be a red sweater in your future. Oh, Dr. I David know. Agus. I'm getting there. That's exactly what I thought this morning. He is one wild and crazy guy. <laughs> there's another side. Thank you. Thank you.